Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of SCP-3008 with the new subtitle Lone Survivor. Uh, this is going to be attempt, literally attempt number four of recording this because back when I originally tried to record this uh, there were a lot of bugs and the game was nearly unplayable so with new updates and hot fixes and things we can now do it. I'm also incredibly sick as you can probably hear my voice isn't up to par. Yeah that's why it's been such a gap in uploads. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better, my, thro my throat may not sound very good and this video might be shorter mainly because I can't really talk but we're gonna we're gonna tank through it. Don't worry. A week without uploads seems a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, let's get going. Actually, before we start, uh, videos that are to come is obviously obviously more 3008 as it comes, and Lobotomy Corporation should be coming back as well. Cause it's been a while since we played that. Uh, if you haven't seen that, it's just a little fun side series we've done, uh, which could do with a bit more uh, recognition. So if you click on the top right, there should be a little eye. You click on that, go to the series. Great set of videos. <coughs> just realised I have the uh, uh, what's it called. Thing that gives you a GPU tracking thing up. Uh, let me just go turn that off. Okay, we'll keep frame rate up because that's quite important to show optimization. Currently offline, the internet has gone off, so until that comes back, we won't have any news. But mainly the changes are performance fixes, new items, new rooms, uh, stuff like that. Nothing crazy. And uh, actual building mechanics that don't crash the game, which is fantastic because last time crashing the game is really easy. So it's all right now, hopefully. Also, shameless plug. In the description there is a link to my Patreon where the merch store has been updated with a lot cheaper prices, so pretty much everything's at least 50% cheaper. Forever. It's like an infinite sale. Wait a minute, I think there's an appropriate sign here. Yeah, there you go. Huge anniversary sale. Also, uh, this video will be sponsored, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there will be a short-ish advertisement break inside the video. <clears throat> also, it gives my uh, voice a break, so that's good. Now, I saw a staff member because staff member now spawned day one. Yeah, there we are. So these dudes will now spawn on the first day, which is good because it means you can get traps earlier. And here's one of the new rooms. Well, it's not a new room. It's from an old version, but they re-added it in with, uh, do these still? Yeah, some of the items are a bit funky. Old version didn't have physics. Those certain items will just fall through the floor, but not all of them. Only some of them. Now we're going to build a very simple Barrel base, I like to call it, uh, with these barrels that stack very nicely, very easily on top of each other. Uh, you can just build two on top, put pallets on top, make a roof, and then put walls uh, to make an actual looking structure. Uh, you just get, I think it's uh, eight barrels, five pallets, and you have something that looks like a base. So we're going to be doing that. It's also quite good here because there's lighting and everything. So we're going to build it over here. So put barrels here, barrels here. Four of them along. So one here, one here, one here, one here. Two up, and then some pallets on the roof. Lovely, and you can expand upon that. Could do with finding a weapon as well. There's a few times where I've got a bit overconfident on my first night and been killed. Oh dear, yeah, I definitely won't be able to record for long today. Voice is already going. I think the best comment I saw yesterday, I was scrolling through obviously. I always go for my comments. I love reading comments. And someone said I read my comments too much. And I was like, is there such thing? Can you read your comments too much? I think that sounds ridiculous. Surely not reading your comments enough is the bad thing. I thought I got that perfect, but not quite. Oh well, it's actually quite nice to have a break from playing games and then recording it. Um, but yeah, my voice the other day was uh, pretty much non-existent. I could literally barely talk. I expect to some of you guys it's probably a blessing, but to me, this is my job. Remember, I do this and I get paid for it. And if I don't do videos, I don't get paid which is really depressing. Oh, if you guys want this game to be multiplayer again, uh, I spoke to the developer about this. Uh, once the, he reaches a certain amount on Patreon, he'll be able to hire another worker. And if he hires another worker, uh, they'll be able to implement multiplayer back in. So if you want multiplayer, there will be a link in the description to his Patreon page. Just donate. I think if you donate $4, you get uh, the access to all the developer builds like I've got. And uh, you're also supporting and beating up the development process. So you can have multiplayer, so you can play this with all your friends, if you have any. Unless you're me, in which case you lose all your friends because you do YouTube. Oh, I said, right, treasure trove of all these barrels everywhere. This is a very good map seed, and I'm sure I'm not gonna fuck it up by dying really easily. Okay, so, now we're thoroughly through night one. Um, no staff around at all, so we're gonna take a very quick nap rooney if I can find a bed. Okay, we're at 6 a.m. so it's gonna be daytime any second now, so we may as well uh, start going back into these hardware departments and finding some pallets. Oh, there we are. 
Oh, and uh, apparently the looping music does it even if you wake up before it goes daytime anyway, so... Apologies for the looping music, that'll occur for a short while. Meaty balls. Burger burger. And that's it. So much food. Also, there's this mysterious upgrades page, which, uh... Don't know what it does yet. It doesn't look like it's implemented properly yet. It wasn't here on an old developer build, so I'm a bit confused. <coughs> oh dear. I know I shouldn't be recording a video if I'm this ill, but... I do it for you guys. I respect you so much. Oh, I've designed this so piss poorly. Okay, so it can't be that big, actually. Um, nah, slightly too wide. That's fine. I can fix that. That won't take long. Okay, right. We've uh, narrowed all the top bits, so it's still wide at the bottom, but should be nice and thick. I mean, thin at the top. So this should just go like... That. Roof. Beautiful. Now, there's a lot of staff around here, so I think we're going to have to go on a bit of a murder. Okay, right, that's one down. Kind of glad that staff don't get attracted by other staff so far. That would be bad. Let's go up with a genius idea. Why don't you just make the entire walls out of barrels so it looks awesome? You know? Matching. So not the barrels over. Build it like a raft. Like this. You'll see what I'm getting at, if it works. It's probably going to be the hardest thing in the world to build, but I like a challenge. Right, I've just discovered a problem already. Maybe if I throw it in? Nope. Okay, I found an exploit. Oh dear. Oh shit, is it? Uh-uh. Right, we didn't get any food, and it's dark. Okay, right, if you run into it, you can kind of, like, manipulate it, but we need to go get some food in the pitch black. Because we're not going to make it through the night, otherwise. Okay, we found some fries, some more meatballs, and that's it. First couple of nights, this game's not been very, uh, generous on the food portions. Well, I shouldn't really complain because we're bound to die eventually anyway. I know there's a staff somewhere in this area. So we're going to pop over to our sponsored uh, advertisement here. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I've tried to edit it into a, a style where it's entertaining to watch. Um, so over to me, past me from about a week ago. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Battle Forge's table. Doing something a little bit different this bit. Uh, we have a new channel sponsor and uh, I thought we'd... Uh, open up said crate probably given it away already but it's a uh, it's a loot crate sponsorship they've very kindly sent me a loot crate and uh, we're going to open it here uh, apologies if the camera like shakes a bit if i do this uh, i don't actually have a tripod set up so we're doing this kind of like um, ashen style if you've ever seen his channel basically he records things on a sofa but my sofa is too small so we're doing it on a table with this really weird camera setup this is the best way i could do it looking down onto the table so best we can do but very kindly. Crate. Which the Royal Mail have absolutely fucking butchered this box. Like, it's completely fucked. Look what they've done to it, man. What the fuck? I know it's come from, like, the States or whatever, but still. Come on, guys. Absolutely butchered it. But anyway, but I do believe that this crate is from February. It's a, it took a while to get here because it's now March. But it's, I believe, transformation, I think. As far as my knowledge goes, so we're gonna open it. I'll probably have no idea what any of it is, but I'm sure it'll be quality shit. It also kind of gives away how big and fat your boy is. Right, let's have a look. It's fucking Hulk, I think. That's great. I know one thing. Oh, that that's uh, kind of, this is kind of a giveaway right here. Well, we'll get the t-shirt out first. Let's see what this one is. Oh, I think I know what that is actually. That's what your fucking boy calls uh, Adventure Time, I think? Never actually watched the show. I've seen a lot of the memes for it, and I think it's finished now, isn't it? Blue shirt has that print on it, which never comes off unless you boil it in the washing machine, which I'm bound to do at some point, because I'm a moron. Yeah, quality shirt, that. Fucking nice. I'll try it on later, see if it actually fits. Uh, I'm sure it will. I'm not humongously overweight anymore, so it should be alright. But that's fucking quality, guys. Feckin' nice. Here we have uh, a Hulk 3D 
comic statue or standee. What the fuck is a standee? I must have want to open this because I reckon it's probably worth something. Right? Surely. Adult collectible, not a toy. 17 plus. You have to be 17. You have to be nearly. You have to be 18 or 17 to have a fucking. <laughs> to have a figurine. Absolutely mental. I'm pretty sure there's a booklet that will show what this looks like. I'm not too keen on opening it, but for the sake of science. We're going to open it. As much as I like having things collected and kept in the box, this needs to be opened. And the only thing I have to open it is a, uh, a knife. I can't find my scissors, so we're just going to very carefully. Beautiful. Clean precision cut with Surgeon Forge. I can't even get it out of the box now. Come on. Look at that. Probably ain't going to show up very good on camera because... Uh, lighting and all that but that does look rather cool actually it's in one of these this is in this packaging it's actually really easy to put back together so i ain't complaining all right remember guys you have to be 18 years old to hold this legally I mean, it's bloody solidly made quite it's rubberized almost nice print on the back that's quite cool actually i quite like things you can put on a shelf and just show off so this uh this does suit my uh decor shelf quite well yeah uh, along with the other dark souls figurines actually that's uh Fucking nice, mate. Right, next, uh, let's get this, whatever this is. Uh, I th <laughs> this is a playing card, I'm fairly sure. Who's that? Omega Supreme? I don't really watch Transformers. This is a box of, I have no idea what any of this is, I'm afraid. If you're a fan of Transformers, there you go, you can tell me about him. But he is 7 attack, 24 health, and 1 shield. So, I'm assuming this is a popular card game. In my day, it was Pokemon, but... There you go, just just a cool card. I, might, I think I have a frame that'll fit this. It might be worth something at some point. So I'll keep it, obviously. I'm not just gonna throw it away, that'd be stupid. So I think last up, we have whatever's in a completely undisclosed box, which I can't open. There we go, a cup. I'm pretty sure that is a glass. Fucker, Jesus, man, what the hell? It is a cup of... A cup of uh, Wraith from Apex. No, this is, uh, that's that Naruto dude, isn't it? From that uh, anime-like. Why is it with things like this having age restrictions? 14 plus for a cup. I was drinking out of glasses when I was 13. Am I breaking the law? Basically, don't microwave and don't, I'm guessing, don't like wash machine this. Luckily, I don't have a washing machine, so hand washing's fine. Quality print. Probably not going to drink out of it because it's too nice to like drink out of. It's a really nice like printed cup. Seems like a waste to just use it to drink your beverages from. Or in my case, loads of ginger beppis. Right, yo. I think I can see something else in here. The Covenanted Loot Crate Pin. Again, for something I don't know. I thought that was originally the, uh, the, uh, the gauntlet from the Infinity one from Marvel. The one that Thanos went and did the bigger, uh, you know, the big... Feels like it's made out of metal. No point really getting it out. They always do these nice pins. I remember that they used to be quite naff, but there you go. My honest opinion on everything. Uh, I have no idea what any of this is, in all honesty. Apart from the Hulk there. And obviously this box is Hulk themed. And I know what Transformers are. But I know nothing of dude over there, and I don't know what this is. But I'm sure this booklet that's creepily eyeing me up is going to explain. Yeah, they are. February 2019 transformation. Loot crate. Uh, it's a playing card. Uh, yeah, Naruto, I was right, but we call him uh, a Wraith from Apex because they both do the same run. That's Hulk. There we are. A later pin. Never seen it. Don't know what that is. Uh, it's probably a film or something. I have no recollection of that at all. Trust them to send a box that I have no idea what anything is, but yeah, this is definitely adventure time. Definitely finished, hasn't it? Or am I being stupid? I'm pretty sure it's finished. Right, pretty sure this folds out into a giant Hulk glove. So I'll quickly do that and then we'll end this and get back to actual content. Grr, I have big fucking, I have big scary f Minecraft fist and I'm going to mine all the ores. Uh, I was gonna punch the glass, but I'm pretty sure that would smash the glass and my table. So I'm just gonna, uh, this was actually quite easy to do. Bet fair play. Yeah, uh, smash that like button with your giant cardboard fist, which you can get by following a link in the description and getting 10% off your Loot Crate order for next month or whatever it is. And I'd like to personally thank Loot Crate for taking the time to find my channel and sponsor the video. So yeah, if you follow the link, you're helping the channel out and um, obviously getting some cool discounts off some pretty cool stuff. I mean, if you like Naruto or 
the Hulk or pins. Loot crate is for you, boys. I mean, I like this. This is quite cool. Anyway, back to the video. Ta-ra. I just realised when making that video, I've actually given myself a cardboard cut. That box f hurt my hand, man. Wow, what a amazing uh, unboxing. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. First, sponsorships where you can be a little bit more yourself instead of reading off a script. Like, you watch some sponsorships where you just... It's so obvious that they're reading off a script that the providers are given, but Loot Crate is certainly one of the uh, nicer ones. Like, they even said you can say whatever you like, uh, be as honest as you like, and I was very much that. Because I didn't know anything that was in that crate. But anyway, actual content time. Oh, and also I forgot to completely mention, everyone who gave suggestions for video ideas uh, the last video, I do thank you very much so. Uh, some of the ideas are actually pretty good. Definitely be doing that uh, SCP blackout soon, because that looks very interesting. And the lights are come back on. Obviously we'll keep up to date with the uh, development on this game, because I know you guys absolutely love these videos, and I love supporting the guys doing this, because it's like a circle of giving. He gets development money and gets to create something that people love, and I get to make videos and also get paid. And I also love getting paid. And making videos, obviously. Right, uh... Do we killing you? Ouchie. Yay! Please give me a good trap. Tripwire! Hooray! We can't make that until we have string recipe, but we have a trap. Hooray! Ideally, I want metal spikes because, uh, the... Tripwire's alright. It slows staff down and you can't get injured by it. But the metal spikes uh, are very durable and they do a lot of damage. Right, pizza, pasta. Very Italian themed Ikea, this one. Just barely hanging on for food at this rate. Not going too well. Oh no, don't kill me. Now nah, we're gonna die if we keep attacking this guy like an idiot. Uh, we're just gonna loop around and heal up before we go back to dealing with him. I don't wanna die. Not this early. I haven't even finished building my bloody base yet. Oh, no, oh no, he's come back. Uh, he seems to be following me now. Yeah, stop doing that. Ah, oh, this is bad. Oh no, I'm not stuck, am I? You piece of shit game. Well, it seems we've, we've uh, fucked ourselves here. Uh, I'm gonna have to restart and rebuild that entire base from scratch. <sighs> Rest assured, I'll get back to where we were. Okay, welcome back. Um, by welcome back, it's been about 10 minutes. I've managed to rebuild the basic structure in this new map seed. Uh, we're just gonna finish off building the walls and then we're gonna start killing staff for traps, hopefully. I actually haven't seen any staff yet, so. Seems to be a pretty quiet seed, this one. Uh, Item-wise, we now have a fire axe as a weapon, which is one of the better ones. It was also reintroduced from the beta. Not sure which does more damage to the crossbow or the fire axe. I think they do about the same amount. Did I say crossbow? Crowbar or the fire axe, they do about the same damage, I reckon. Okay, we're going to try and build these three up. Then we'll have a pallet as a front door. Oh, a staff member. Uh, do I really want to tussle with you, or should I find food first? I think food is probably more important. Okay, right, we've eaten enough. Uh, I'd say it's a good time to now to uh, molest some staff. And not get stuck in, in the process. There we are. Light bulb recipe. What is the light bulb used for? I know there's a certain recipe you can make now that requires a light bulb. Well, uh, when we get the recipe for it, we'll demonstrate, I guess. Ow. Okay, that's what you don't want them to do, is to run into you. Okay, right. The best way to attack them is to literally have the high ground. Which I tend to have, which is pretty good. Okay, if you haven't noticed, we're doing this uh, base roofless. Mainly because uh, there's not, I don't think they can really get you from the ceiling, so... If they added flying staff, which would be terrifying, uh, then then we'd worry, but we don't have to worry. So we're alright. For now. I think the reason my throat sounds so raspy is because I'm due medicine. I decided to do this at the tail end of the medication effectiveness, which was stupid. Normally I sound a little bit better than this, but uh, hopefully by next video I should be at least 80% better. Okay, there we go. A base with four walls. Now we just need to get a pallet as a door. And we're done. 
And hopefully we'll be safe from the staff, and tonight will be that test. Because there's fucking thousands of them. Okay, here's our door. Oh, why the... What the fuck? This wall's just completely fallen down. Why did you do that? Okay, uh, it's kind of bodged, but it does the job, I suppose. Just put that there. Okay, right. Uh, it's about to go dark. We didn't get any food. There, uh, just quickly. We can run around and grab what we can. And hopefully it doesn't go dark like right now, because that would be dreadful. Although we do have a charge on the battery. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, I remember what the light bulb recipe's for. Remember when we got that? Probably. Uh, you can make the flashlight. Because it's quite hard to find sometimes if you don't get the right rooms to spawn. So uh, we'll be making that eventually. Maybe. If we survive long enough. Just guess we'll have a little wander around. Let's go have a look in here. This looks interesting. Ah! One of the new items. Keep forgetting that... Yes, I recorded this previously, but I haven't highlighted everything. Uh, batteries for the flashlights, because they need batteries now. Now, if this isn't a true treasure trove for barrels and metal, God knows, man. I won't destroy all of those, because we might need them to repair damages to uh, Fort Amazing. Mm, I heard a staff member. Probably too quiet for audio in the video, but... Definitely heard someone. Oh god, he was over there. Fair play, you sneaky boy. Alright, let me just get the high ground a second here, sir. Get fucked, although you did half my health in one hit. Don't know why that bug's still a thing. Wooden spikes! Hooray! Trap time! Right, let's just go find a load of wood and uh, make some pretty awesome traps. Uh, cue the destruction montage. What an amazing montage. Uh, we're not going to kill anyone else. We'll try and get the traps to do the killing for us. Oh, hello chair. Dead. God, if he walks over it, does he get aggravated? I'm going to build little areas where they, they funnel off here, so we can run around and hopefully lure them over this way. Can I walk through here without getting injured? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh man, seriously, what the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. No! You bitch! Fucking destroyed all my shit! Ugh. Pallet's gone, one of the barrels is broken. What an arsehole. Yeah, you, you dick stain. Broken my stuff. Oh, I am fuming. Oh, I'm steady. I can hurt myself on them. Come on, I want you to die to the trap. Oh shit, okay, he broke the trap. And the table. Hmm, well, I reckon the base is still livable. Uh, it might just need a little bit of bodging. Now we have a bit more material as well, we can recraft some of the wooden spikes to defend ourselves with. Okay, right, when it gets daytime, I will show you my amazing spike trap and we will test it by pissing off a staff member, running down the side of it, and waiting here, and they should run through and take all the damage. Because wooden spikes don't last very long, but they do a decent amount of damage. A bit annoying that it harms players, but I suppose it would if you stuck your foot on a giant wooden spike, it would hurt. Uh, Easter egg to add Legos as a trap. Perfect. Right. Trap testing time, I think. Now, doesn't that look menacing? Okay, here we have our willing test subject. Hey ya. Oi, no, stop it! No! What are you doing? Oh, you son of a bitch. Can't wait to kill you. This way, you pillock. Well, how's that fair? Well, we're going to end the video here because traps are uh, a bit strange. Staff can attack them, which kind of defeats the bloody point of them, surely. 
And also the destroyed uh, forge base, which is now just a floating magic mess. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I will be better soon. Uh, make sure you follow the link in the description for the Loot Crate sponsorship. You get 10% off your orders using that code. And I'll uh, see you in the next one. Toodaloos.